We are not only believers, but we are doers. Our drive comes from compassion and listening to the other. And not only because we are courageous enough, we are doing it, but because we just don't need war. We don't need war anymore. When the eyes are being opened, when the heart is following those eyes, we cannot shut them anymore. Then we are really starting to touch the heart of each other. Then we are really starting to touch the dream. We, the Messiah group, want to contribute compassion to the world through sound and music. Compassion is a gift which was given to us since the day we were born. Many prophets and people in history taught us compassion, but it really came to remind us what we, we know already. We just need to use it with each other. Music is international language, as we know. This international language allows us to meet in the same level, despite our beautiful differences. We cross borders, we walk beyond boundaries, and we touch each other's hearts. The work of crossing the inner borders helps us in crossing the real borders in the world. On our way, um, Three weeks ago, to our rehearsal time in Jordan, all of us, the people that were coming from Israel and crossing to Jordan in the border uh, were being investigated for some time. I think it was around two hours. After those two hours, George with the wood, <laughs> took his wood out, and Phil was starting to sing with him. Suddenly, all the workers in the border went out of their offices and see who is playing music that they love in the border. Ten minutes after, we were in Jordan. <laughs> when I came back from Jordan for this time, I was pretty sad. It took me some while to understand why I am sad. And then I realized that this picture of peace, this picture that I see in front of my eyes, is not a regular picture. Most of us, fortunately, we, we don't see those kind of pictures. And I felt in one hand very privileged to see this picture, and in the other hand I felt, um, I felt sad. I had a wish that other people in this region, in the Middle East, not Africa region, and all the other regions of the world, will choose to see the pictures of peace. This is what we truly need. And this is one of those pictures. It's real. We are here and we are doing it and we truly believe in this vision. You know that our DNA in a way can't really remember that we should and we will live in harmony and peacefully in this world. We need to really, really to remember, we need to really to open this memory in our DNA and to do it. Each one of us in this room has the power to share her, her or her gift, his gift, sorry, with the world and to make a difference. The United Religions Initiative is showing us this dream and inspiring us to cross the borders, to go beyond the boundaries and to meet face to face, heart to heart. Without the encouragement of the URI, we couldn't have been here in this moment, especially in the situation of the world. We have a vision, and the vision is not far from here. It is here all around us. It's in between religions and faiths, between the genders. It is in the family and with nature. It is with the water and all environment. It is coming through technology. It is within us. As we make harmony in our music, 
We believe we can create harmony in the world. It is a choice each of us must take and make. We believe in Zayek's work will continue to grow because the world is ready for it. Our wish is to see more and more groups like that around the world that brings music and compassion to the world. I wish more groups will send healing to other places on this planet that need this power of healing. Thank you for joining us this evening. May peace prevail.